Good evening from Heinz Park, ladies and gentlemen. How is everyone? It's freezing cold out today, but we've been out thrifting and we have got some amazing, amazing things. This Dior t shirt that we picked up, which is beautiful, if I zoom in, there you can see. Got a zoom in, there you go. It's the embroidered Dior. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. I think it is actually, if I stretch it, could be, it's a size. It's 164, no one's 164, that's ridiculous. It's got a small neck. Yeah, I reckon this is probably either a young ladies, yeah, that's probably a, a, a girl's, or a very small ladies t-shirt, but it's beautiful. Look at the embroidery on that. Yeah. But it's a Dior t-shirt, and I get, we get probably a fair old amount for that. Oh. Right, this is my, one of my favourite things. I love things like this. The um, Imperial Armani. Do you want me to... Uh... We're gonna go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> the alarm's going off. The alarm is going off. I'll be back in one minute. You go back, and I will say we'll talk about the uh, the laundry attendant who's, uh, as you can see, he's had a very hard day. He's been out to a party this afternoon, and he's with four other dogs, and he's had three days with Auntie, and he's knackered. She, she's. Way. She's walked his paws off. So he's having a little snooze on the couch. I don't know what I've done. And you can see, Woo sleeping on Woo. He's got the Woo Excuse cushion. Me. Is that right? That's one. He's got Woo sleeping on Woo. Yeah. And now we we'll continue back where we started with the uh, programming. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is an Imperial Marnie hoodie. It's really, really beautiful. I love things like this. I've got a Detail Y hoodie, which is fleece lined like this. Mm-hmm. That my dad bought me and it's absolutely amazing. I love things like this. I live in things like this. So, so in the back, he's got Armani across yeah, the beard. This is quite heavy as well. And also, the zipper has got the official, official trademark on it. You have to be so, so careful because oh, there's so many fakes out there, but this is heavy. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you mention the ones we've got sat at the back there? Ah, oh, yeah. yeah unfortunately, you your, yeah. unfortunately, Peter picked up these jeans. From Brand new. Brand with new. tags. But unfortunately, they're, they're not real because they're not got the. They're not. They don't make uh, true religion make jeans in uh, China. China. These are fake. So unfortunately, we can't put these up on eBay because we'll get shut down because they are fakes. Fakes, which is a real bad shame because we bought some. But we got our money back on them, so they're just gonna. Nothing you can do about it no. once it happens. This is lovely. I love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. This is um, turquoise blue, North Face fleece. Top, but I think we'll probably sell because you can even wear this type of thing in the spring. You, you could, will. yeah. And it's really nice inside. Should go for about what thirty-five pounds, so something like that. It's nice, really nice. Gonna be a stomper, <laughs> it's a stomper colour. That's really nice. It's a yep. lovely. Nice turquoise. I love that colour. But these are top done. These are Peter got these from. Where did you get this one? Somewhere or other. I got it from somewhere or other. I can't remember, but I didn't realise they were brand new with tags. So. Yeah, but these so uh, cool. we, we scored big on look, those look ones. Look at those, they've got a tag, you can see, and they're obviously brand spanking wallopily new. Yeah. I love the back of it. It's I think you looked them up, I, the prices on those are about, what, £350 yeah. or something like that? What, what are these? I know these are Adidas. They're Adidas, but I don't know what the, they were. Adidas Star Salvations. Ooh. Well, that, that's... I'm not sure what you do, what you do, what you do, but this... Is cool as well. Picks up some really good stuff. It's amazing what you can buy in thrift shops. But this is a Dr. Cabana jacket, and if you look at the back, it's got Dr. Cabana on the back. You... Hold up, let me show the ladies and gentlemen. You go. Uh, it's out of focus, hun. You got to go back towards you. Not come to me. <laughs> I can zoom in. You can see the detail on it, and the detail on the front. I mean, yeah. Look at that. All the embroidery bits. Well, that's some sort of stuff. And it's got in DK on the uh, the zip as well, isn't it? Yeah, Don't... this is really important that a zip has the either the D or something authenticated, though, because there's so many fakes out there. Hmm. But this is genuine. And we found that on uh, other listings, and it goes for what? How did you what price? Uh, what comparable price did you get for it? I think over a hundred pounds, well over a hundred, maybe two hundred quid for it. Right. Okay. It's really really nice. Well, but it needs a dry clean. So we'll get it dry cleaned and we'll get it put out. Yeah, it's Peter found this. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a good sort of warm. Bit of a, I know what this is. Oh, I'm yeah. a lumberjack and I'm all right. 
I cut down trees, I go to the lavatory, I wish I'd be in a lumberjack. I know. Just like my dear papa. You can imagine um, somebody wearing this and out. Like yeah, our food. Canadian friends, maybe, yeah, out on the road. Yeah, or oh, the, oh, the ice road men. And your ice, the ice road truckers. But this is really nice. It's really warm, and it is it's a regatta. Regatta, regatta brand. I always remind regatta with boats and things. I think we, they call it a Sherpa fleece because it's lined. It's really nice, though, isn't it? It's thick. You can still wear that now because it's absolutely bitter outside. Today, very bitter. Very cold. These are the Nike... Bread and butter Nike uh, track pants. But it's got the embroidery on this side of Night the leg. Max. Yeah, it's got the embroidery on the side of the legs, if you look. Oh, yeah. It goes all the way down. I just some kept in our legs. We can't speculate on that, but who knows? This is nice. Just oh. classic Lee jacket, isn't it? It's nice for even the spring, it gets a bit warmer, hopefully. Yeah. This is really heavy. Mm. I think just specialise in lots of heavy things. Mm. This is this reminds me of... Oh, this is... Pete, when I first started dating Peter, I used to wear a lot of these. This used to be his wardrobe because it used to be a fat face in um, everything. A piece used to buy every top of the high road. I could buy all my all my wardrobe in one place. Well, I thought this was yours. It's, it's not, no. It's sort of thing that you wear, though. Yeah. But it's nice, though, isn't it? It's just a nice warm, warm hoodie. Like for even now for spring. Yeah, getting up there. Well, get out of the winter. We'll be wearing that. Yeah, but you can still wear that. We need to go out for the day. Mm. Walk door. Mm -hmm. Now this, I'm not sure about this, but it could be. It could be real. It could be. I don't know. But it's got the horse on it, which makes me think: is it real? Is it not? Yeah, well, I don't know. It looks real and it feels it's real. real. It feels real. It feels the material and it's it's not. The only thing it, I mean, usually I usually the the fakes ones feel funny and like nylon, yeah, and then they'll that. have it they'll have it written on there. It's that's cotton. Yeah, so maybe it is real. It's a little night, little uh, Ralph Lauren little jumper, red for, top. Yeah, I think it might be. A good lady could get into that small lady. Could. I think it's a ladies one. Anyway, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. quite a nice color. But this I found on the road. I like this. This is what he's called. A bit of you. A puffer cut. <laughs> I'm just going to put it on. It's a north face. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a nice colour. Yeah. It's like a snow coat type of thing. I mean, you can still wear this now. Mm. And our model. With the hoodie, and it's got the north face on the on the shoulder. <laughs> and on the front lapel pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it's quite a dancing stomping coat, do you? It doesn't it's, it's, uh, actuate the stomping. Right. No, that's good. Right, okay. Next, next item we've got. This is recommended by our friends here in the Philly to Philly. But. A luxury bazaar. Luxury bazaar. But this is a. If I put that there. Hold on, so I can zoom in. Well, you move your dugong. Go on, now Roman does it these days. And they're trying to hold it up to the watch to the what's here. This is a Seiko. There we go. Right, this is a beautiful piece. It's got a leather strap and it's marked on the back, which is the proper Seiko mm -hmm. stamp, which is really, really, really important that it has that. We're not sure if this is the original strap, but hold on a minute, it might be. It's genuine leather strap, they say it could mm. be, but there's a stamp on here, deluxe, so it could be, I'm not sure. It's got the Seiko stamp on there. Yeah, it's but like, you can change those over and put yeah. onto anything. But yeah, at least, at least it's a nice condition watch. And I think it's not scratched. The no, best. I thought it was going to be a lot, a lot worse than it no, was, and it wasn't. The bezel's in good condition. Yeah. The dials are all good. It's got a date on there as well. Mm. Which is it's good. a good chronograph, and it's I, I an think. Excellent chronograph. And it's a lovely, lovely. I think it's a man's watch, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. But that is a beautiful piece. I and mean, some women do wear. I do the wrist mm -hmm. thing. But I actually think that's really nice. Yeah. I think it's a lovely piece. It's as Roman said to you, it was a good watch. And for the price we got it, it was great. And it should sell for about 240 to 200 pounds plus, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. Watch. We're sort of getting into the watch market, I mean, hopefully. Well, yeah. Now, this is something that we always sell. These are our bread and butter, these are. These I think we are. sold our last uh, One. rocket without the without box. Yeah, this and is a rocket with a box. And it's got a man with a scooter. And something else. He's got the order control sensor and all the bits and pieces. And you need batteries for this. You do. You do. It does make noises. Do you have? Do we have to include the batteries? No, because you can't post batteries. Oh no, you're of not you allowed can't. to in the post in the postage. No. Especially if you take a broad. As long as I check it and make sure the sounds work, it's fine. Yeah, that's what you have to do. So all the collectors out there, this is what you're looking for. 
a Thunderbird one in and there's the a little box man. Did with, did all, did with all his accessories. <laughs> Thunderbirds, go! <laughs> now, I just want to ask a question. It says three plus. Does that mean it's for a three-year-old or does that mean no? No, anybody, it's good enough for anybody from three plus up. Plus. Because isn't it dangerous? For, I mean, That's why they say you know, if a child is going to put bits in his mouth. That's so, what I'm saying, yeah. So anything over three. So let me see what it does. It's a Thunderbird electronic play set. Wow. And this is from what date? From where? Uh, 92, I'm guessing. Is it? 92 or 99. So I'm, it's quite I, a long time ago. Yeah, it's over 30 years old. It is. I, I passed my driver's in 93, so I've been driving over 30 years. So it's probably mm. quite a long time ago. Mm. Now this one is going to be the box of Oh, all yeah, this is, this is the mother of all boxes. Peter likes our box. I do like a box. This and is... what's in the box, hun? Oh, no. It's Peter another... Tracy Island. Well... Now we've gone from Jelly Cats to Tracy Islands. And the wigs are going to get up and so interesting. Don't know. So we've got Matchbox uh, We have vintage. more Tracy Islands than Tracy Island hats, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but all saying that, all jokes aside, we actually sold one, didn't we, to a lady um, in, I think it's in the Channel Islands or somewhere. But this has got all the bits in it, hasn't it? Yeah, that's complete. And if you look... Tracy Island, was there someone called Tracy that lived on there? Uh, yeah, the Tracy family. The Tracy family. Which yeah. are they the little blue men? No. Yeah, the different colours with the sashes. Okay, so they're the Tracys. They're the Tracys, so, so they call it Tracy Island. Oh, right, so Scott Tracy, isn't there? The Scott, yeah. Name all the Scott, all the Tracys. Oh, I don't know who they were. I don't even know. I know a lady from Penelope, she's not a Tracy. She wasn't a Tracy, no. No. What's this then? A Thunderbird 3. Yeah. Oh, look. It's, it's, it's a what does it say? Thunderbirds are go. Uh, and what numbers on the side? Four. There you go. Look, so you're learning all numbers. And one. Well done. So this is where they live. But I've got to ask the question. Did they go to Lidl's to get their food? Maybe. They've got rockets. They can park them anywhere. But I bet they couldn't get cucumber tomorrow. It's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> so, oh, yeah. ridiculous. All right, have a little gripe. Go on, have a moan. Yeah, no. I went to, I went to like so many shops to get tomatoes and cucumber. I went to the turkey shop, didn't we, up the road. Mm. And those tomatoes were like four pounds. For like four tomatoes. I wonder if they had like loads left. It's ridiculous. Hmm. So if anyone knows where we can get cheap tomatoes and cucumber, hmm. let us know. But Somebody say, move to where the tomatoes are cheaper and the cucumbers. Yeah, oh God, yeah. But this is really good. I mean, we have sold quite a lot of interest. I mean, these things go like 10 to the dozen, don't they? And this. Hmm. We've sold one this morning and then the green yeah, ones. Yeah, I mean, these are, I mean, they're so popular. I mean, I actually um, connected with someone up north. Up north. Up north, there. What's in there? Oh, another box there. Like a box, doesn't it? I'm going to turn fire off because it's a bit hot. Oh, is it in fire? Okay. I'll just open it. It's a bit warm. Oh, look. This is the Tracy family, ladies and gentlemen. This we is a... Uh, matchbox. Matchbox rescue pack. And basically, it's a full set of Things. untouched um, Thunderbirds. Right, so we have Golden Tracy, Virgil Tracy, Lady Penelope Tracy. And Scott. Don't forget Parker. Parker Tracy mm. and Ellen Tracy. That's a bit of a... Yeah. And then we have Thunderbirds too. Yeah. Wow, this is the... So this is in really, really good condition. Yeah, that's, they, so they, they sell for £70 on their own. Really? What, each? No, to one box set complete oh, like that, £70. Pounds. Oh, wow, well, that's really good. They are, yeah. So when you add that to the um, Tracy Isn't Island set and then you put a full set of little men with it, they should value as long as the Tracy Island is complete. And in really or pretty condition, it should be worth I around open this. This is another 250 to about 200 pounds, depending on the condition. Right, so this is another Tracy Island, isn't it? That's exactly what it is, dear. It's a second Tracy Island, which we got thrown in with the bundle. So wow. that one is not as complete as that one. But it doesn't then, have a box. But then you could get all these bits. I can use that as a parts island and I can probably fix some of the bits on that one with this one so and I'll have another. When you ship it, if we've got, got to ship it, you've got to put it like this. Yes. So, well, it's a amount of bubble wrap. With yeah, and you have to go into a box. Yeah. Something like that. Or a smaller box, but yeah. Wow. But these are really good. I'm connected with a guy up in Yorkshire mm -hmm. and he's uh, got like an antique watch and like kind of, what do you call it? Like old toys and stuff like that. They just house clearances, isn't it? Yeah, house clearances, yeah. And it's like the guy we connected with in Kings Lynn. Mm. And he does all this sort of thing. And I said to him, I'd like to be interested in lots of bundles. But the only problem is we've got a small cupboard 
at the moment at the moment but we're hoping to progress in and what i want to do and i had this brilliant idea at work this week that i had this vision when i have a vision in the middle of the night when i'm working in a vision when i'm working really late of having a store and then having like kind of watches this type of thing and having things in glass cabinets and stuff like that so you can actually people can actually see like a proper collection mm. type of thing and i thought to myself that would be really good because that's my future goal to do that yeah, collectibles and, and so stuff forth. like that. Because I think this is, I think reselling and I think doing this type of thing is a interesting and b, you know, it's something that you're doing for yourself. I've always said, do things for yourself, mm. work for yourself. And I think you actually enjoy it, but I do think sometimes you get carried away with some of the things. But, but I did buy that for an exceptionally good price. Yeah, but that's good. So that's why I've got it. But uh, uh, and I, but I only but hit the buy button on that because I know I'd sold one. So yeah. that's why I had but another in a one. We're going to have a laugh. We're going to be doing my £10 cooking challenge. Oh, yes. So that'll be another another YouTube video we're doing. Maybe we'll do that today or maybe tomorrow. Depends what we're going to have for dinner. Okay. Maybe later. I don't know. We'll see. And I put it out there that we're going to do it today. But mm -hmm. I can grow chicken because that's what we're going to do chicken. We've um, got to turn it off. Yeah. But this is really, really good. But I mean, like, if you can get things at the right price and sell it for the right price, you're going to make a really good profit. We've learned from a lot of people, Matt and all sorts of people like Perry Tornado. You look at their videos and so and so and different things. And we're trying to get into the grey market as well, which I think is yes a really good thing. Like, and Anthony Farrah is doing, doing an amazing class at the moment. On he's how doing to. brilliant. Yeah, watch Anthony Farrah. Please find him and Rome and Lakshmi Bazaar. Was it Lakshmi Bazaar? But Anthony giving him lots of support because he has a lot of stick. He has yeah. a lot of stick. But I think, you know what, he's been doing it for five years. Mm. You know, you know, it takes time to build up your business. I mean, good luck to the guy. You know, mm. he's had a rough time, but, you know. And he did listen to some of your good advice you gave him and he's sought himself out now and he's doing yeah. really well, you know. I mean, it's, it's good. I mean, yeah. I mean, everybody has rough times in life. We all do. But, you know, if you can find a little niche, as we have, because mm. I think sometimes it makes you a better person for doing it. And one day, you're just like me. Just like me. So, folks, don't forget to buy a Tracy Island. Everybody wants one, you know you, you do. Want, you know you do. <laughs> and we've got some lovely things that we're going to be we'll be posting real soon. We'll see. And we might see you later for our £10 challenge. So like, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and we'll see you on the channel real soon. Bye for now. Ciao. Ciao.